The global gaming industry is already valued at over 135 billion US dollars and Kenyan gaming events company buoyed by broadband are hoping to become major players in the global arena. An increasing number of Kenyans have decided to use their gaming skills with an aim to build professional careers as the fast-growing industry continues to create opportunities on a number of fronts. Gaming is currently said to be the world's favorite form of entertainment and has even grown to become a spectator sport. At a club in Nairobi, players recently had a chance to battle it out in the Kenyan National League of the Africa Esports Championships. Esports is the competitive side of electronic gaming, with multiple players battling against each other, usually in teams, often in matches that are streamed live to throngs of young fans. Watching other people play games has become big business and has given rise to games being played in tournaments that offer handsome amounts of prize money. If you look at countries like uh, those in the West and in Asia, esports has become a full-time occupation where you have dedicated athletes who compete in uh, games. So I can list some of them off, like League of Legends has a dedicated league, uh, Overwatch in multiple continents, whereby the players are played a stipend and they also earn money from endorsements that they receive from sponsors and corporate um, uh, investors. And this has now changed the landscape of the sport where people are taking it now more seriously, like an actual sport. Esports already boasts an estimated 250 million players worldwide in a growing market worth about 1 billion US dollars. The International Olympic Committee recognized esports in 2017 as a sports activity but the IOC maintains that the structure of esports and its focus on commercialization currently hampers immediate hopes of inclusion in the games. Kenya is gearing up to host the inaugural Africa Esports Championship later this year, and players have already participated in a number of leagues in the build up. Sylvia Wahome, also known as Queen Arrow in gaming circles, is Kenya's first female professional gamer and is currently signed up with a US-based eSports team. I see myself becoming one of the most recognized uh, eSports athletes, um, and not just because of my gender, because of my skill. Because yeah, um, really? I'm taking uh, the slow and gradual steps to improving my gameplay. Uh, well, you... well, yes, with the, with the growth of the industry, especially at the numbers that the industry is growing, uh, in the international market, I believe that eSports will be a career option very soon in Kenya. Several African countries are well positioned to benefit from gaming because of their youthful population and broadband access. Talent managers are also seizing the opportunity to nurture professional gamers. We know there's quite a number uh, of talented players already and so as, as the sessions grow, as the competitions expand, we feel that we're going to capture quite a number of talented players that will, will enable Kenya to compete against the best in the world. According to a new report from New Zoo, a gaming industry analytics firm, global esports revenue are expected to hit 1.1 billion US dollars in 2019, up 27% since last year amid ballooning revenues from advertising, sponsorship and media rights to competitive video gaming.